Hi guys, this is Let's Play Ace of Spades. This is a first person Minecraft hybrid. It's a shooter. So you got guns, you got blocks. This game has the very unique feature of being able to destroy and fit and modify the terrain. So if say I want to build a little tower or something, I can do that, but I don't want to do that because that's not really helping my team any. The goal, should you choose to try to attempt it, is to obtain the enemy intel, which is a little opposite, little colored square of the enemy team's color that you have to get, and you have to get all the way back to your base. Ah. So yes, there are three weapons in this game. There is a sh there is a rifle, which is probably the best weapon in the entire game, mainly because it headshots in one kill. I mean, eh. It kills with one headshot. If you shoot a person in the head with it, then they die automatically. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And, and there's a machine gun, which shoots really quickly. There's a shotgun, which can destroy blocks in one hit if you're close enough. And also pretty much killing by one hit if you're close enough. You don't even have to aim for the head. But I prefer the rifle just because I've been playing this a while and it's pretty much the one. Hold on. Man, it's gonna suck to be that guy because now he's gotta get all the way back up there in order to keep going. There we go. Oh, nope, that guy's hiding there. He's on my team. Is anybody up there? Oh. So, yeah, apparently, at least on this map, apparently it's very difficult to actually get to the enemy intel. Okay, where the heck did that come from? I mean, seriously, I mean, you know, if you're going to spawn camp, you know, if there's one thing I really don't like about this game, is that you can't maneuver the camera after you die. Because that's really the only thing that really ticks me off, is that, you know, it's, if I'm walking along here at spawn or whatever, and, you know, if I die, I want to know where the guy who shot me is. Mainly so I can go get revenge, but at least I'm like, oh, okay, that's where he was. Not necessarily, it's like, what the heck. So yeah, let's get some more headshots. Looks like they're taking up camp in that orange building over there. So I think some rifle fire would be very good. Would probably be the best tool to use. Or grenades. You also have grenades in this game, you have two. Sometimes they destroy blocks, it really depends on the server. You have a shovel, which can destroy three blocks vertically. You have a pickaxe that can destroy one block at a time, but you actually get the block back, and you can only have a maximum of 50 blocks on you at any one time. Well, looks like my team's taking back the orange building here. I'm sure, I saw some movement over here. Oh, oh come on, man. That was like five shots. Okay, actually, it's three, but. No, you cannot work on your flag. I do not permit it. So yeah, a lot of... Ah. Uh, See, so yeah, I mean, like, at least on this server I find, or at least, you know, so far, it's like, you know, these guys are really good. It's like, they see you and they zero in on you, like, nobody's business. You gotta be good in order to actually get anywhere in this game. Actually, you know, you don't have to be really good. I mean, you could probably be mediocre. It's just like, you know, some players are really crafty, and, you know, sometimes, you know, on one map, I remember there's... Pretty much the entire gimmick was that you had pretty much, you know, you had these two giant cliffs on either side of you, and um, so then the, you or the enemy could. Hey, cool! I got some of the grenade. You or the enemy could like hole up in the sides of the cliff, and it'd be really difficult to snipe you down, which is really annoying. I find. No, no. Part of no, you cannot work on your flag is confusing you. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna be a jerk. There, now he's gotta start all over. Looks like they're just tossing grenades back and forth. Yeah, kamikaze! Grenade! I only had two health left anyway. But yeah, let's just say I want to switch the shotgun. Which is actually a pretty cool weapon. You know, you die because you don't want to be like in the middle of the field and be able to switch weapons because that'd be kind of overpowered. You know, but the shotgun, very satisfying firing sound, and also it's the only weapon that you could reload individual shots. 
So if, say, you know, fire off a few shots there, then if I just, I could just reload one shot and then fire off immediately after that. So I don't have to reload entirely in order to keep firing, like with the rifle and sub-machine gun. It's not very good for a long distance firing such as this, mainly because you're going to get sniped. There we go. That's how you use it. Yes! Sometimes you're able to get some guys from a distance. Let's get let's sneak up on this guy. Well we did some damage. It also can break blocks pretty easily. Let's see. We're doing a lot of damage. Oh. See that and you know he shotgun me back, so it's not the best. You know, it, it's it's a pretty okay weapon, you know, it's, it's fun. You know, just getting in their base and just, like, shotgunning them all. You know, because if you had a rifle, even though the firing rate is probably equal, you know, you'd have to hit, you have to aim for the head and only then. And apparently this, I don't know if this guy's a griefer or what, but I think he just destroyed that building. Which is probably bad, because that means we have less cover. Oh, I, I had no idea if he was standing on something. Standing on something. Not. And there we go. I saw somebody in there. I mean, it was just his dead body. Let's destroy some of their base. Just for the heck of it. You know, we don't need a stupid pack axe, we, got, we can do this professionally. Somebody's up here. No. I will not allow you to snipe my teammates. It's probably... Also, in this game, on um, Minecraft, there's, you know, block physics, in a way. Mainly, if no block is supporting... You know, say that I build, like, a simple structure here. You know, normally in Minecraft, if I broke this, these blocks would stay there. But if I break, but in this game, if you break it, those blocks disappear. Also, you don't get those blocks back for breaking it, because normally with the pickaxe, you get blocks you break back. But if if you make something fall, you don't get all those blocks back. Although that would be pretty sweet. All right, let's get sniped. After this, I'll probably show you the submachine gun. Oh. But yeah, right, if you know how to headshot, you know, quick scope or whatever it's called, you know, this is a very good game for you. I mean, all you have to do is just aim for the aim for the guy's head, and you're done. These are very layered defenses. I appreciate that. Whoa. Hmm. Ah. Okay, where the heck did that come from? Is Blaine on my team? No, Blaine is not on my team. I would really hate that if Blaine was on my team and then he killed me. You know, because I'd just be really griefing heck. Or, you know, it, it would not be very good, because... You know, because then he'd just go around and killing everybody. And that's no fun for anybody. But, so yeah, I noticed that this here is not very well supported, so we want to fix that. Or to, so then, you know, it just doesn't fall, and so it falls and we don't have any cover. Let's see, is there anybody over here? Oh, I saw somebody over there. Yeah, the submachine gun isn't very accurate, but it does fire very quickly, so if you just want to, so if there's a big crowd of people, you just want to spray it, you're going to deal some damage. But, you know, if you're, if you're not confident with headshots, or, you know, with the rifle, submachine gun's good. You know, Substitute, I guess. Although it only really works if people are in the open, like this guy. Or me, I guess. You know, see, it, you know, it's really, um, you know, if you happen to be good with the rifle, and if you were in that situation, you probably shouldn't have had the submachine gun. You know, because if you could headshot, I could have just headshot that guy the moment I saw him and he would have been dead. And I wouldn't be, and I could keep going with my killing streak, but instead I had the submachine gun. 
Also, the submachine gun gives away your position very easily. Because, as you can see, slightly, there's, um, some light, uh, there's yellow trails that appear from where the bullets are coming from, so if you're sniping, if you snipe one too many times, then it'll show a yellow trail and show you where, show the pe show everybody where you are, which is kind of the point. But it basically means that you can't really snipe with a submachine gun, considering you just create so many. And it shows where everything is. Let's see, is that blue guy still over here? No, I think my teammate got him. Maybe he just went over here. No, it looks like they were fortifying the front wall here. Okay, where the heck did that come from? I know that was a grenade. Wow, this is actually pretty sweet. Right. Whoa. There's a blue guy on our building. That's bad. Alright, Kamikaze! Juke. Also, it can destroy blocks very quickly. But apparently Blaine is pretty much being super awesome. Blaine has 47 points, I have 14. No, let's just go for an even 15, I think I'll call it, because there's pretty much never any end to the game. You can see the Intel scores above the scoreboard there. We have neither team has caught has gotten any. The team who gets the 10 first wins. See, like, right here? Like, see, like, right here. I totally could have headshot that guy, but I couldn't because I had the submachine gun. After this, I'm totally switching back to the rifle. You go this way? No, I don't think so. I don't know who he is, but it's going down. I just kind of wish for these kinds of situations or was voice chat. You know, just so I could tell it's, you know, like blue on south side or whatever, rather than having to type it out. Because if I type it out, he could just turn around and shoot me, and then I wouldn't have to be in any position anymore. To... Oh, okay. So this is poison water. Apparently some servers have water that damages you, so nobody can just go around and, you know, sneak around and steal the intel that way. Although you can still build bridges over it, even though they are pretty vulnerable. Just because they're so easy to break. Alright, let's head in again. Reload before we go over the wall. Is anybody over here? Nope. There's a cower behind here. Yeah, that was, that was a terrible. Terrible shot. Physical qualifications. We don't want that. Man, I love it how he didn't see me. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you're if you don't have good aim, probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, my score is now 15, so I think I'm just gonna call it. So, ace of spades.